Hello everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. I am doing a reading now for the Gabby Petito and uh, Gabby Petito's case. I don't want to mention the fool, you know. Uh, I don't want to mention his name because I just don't want to mention his name. So, I know there's a lot of talk going on about he was cited here, he was cited there. <clears throat> then, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter has gotten involved and all that stuff. So, I mean, it is what it is, you know, a lot of people are looking at this guy, trying to find him, etc. And I, I, a couple of times in the past week or so, you know, a lot of people have asked, uh, sent me emails, hey, can you do another uh, reading for Ryan Landry or Gabby Petita? And I kind of put it off because I wasn't feeling it. But now I was, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. Um, just to get some clarity and see where we are at. Uh, I had also mentioned in my, uh, in my, uh, I don't know which video it was, the first, second or third or fourth, I don't know how many I've done for her, that there was a 13 day period and if they get him within the 13 day period, it's going to be, if at all they get him, it will be within the 13 day period. If not, it's going to be difficult. And I did say that he will be gone. So people asked, what do you mean by gone? As in gone, we'll never find him or gone, he's going to die. So I didn't elaborate on that. I mean, after I posted that video, then people asked me that question. It's like, when you say he's gone, he's gone as in he's, he's vanished, we'll never get him or he's just going to kick the bucket or whatever. So I don't know, let's, uh, but I feel it's going to be very difficult for them to get him. And also I had said in one of the, videos that there will be two other cases that are going to come to light because of this and I had said that I don't know if it's a man or a woman two women or two men I don't know if they're related to each other or whatever but there'll be two other cases so subsequently I find out one other person I think he's from Florida as well so oh my goodness I don't know why I'm yawning I shouldn't be I shouldn't be yawning I should have got some water, but you know, never mind. Let's just get on with this. All my scribble paper and all that I can put it away. I don't need it. I hope all of y'all are doing well. You know, for all the newbies, uh, welcome uh, to my channel. Um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I won't lie, it does help with the analytics. Uh, of YouTube and for all of my YouTube family, the real family, thank you very, very much uh, for watching and your comments and leaving a thumbs up. You, you, you guys know I do appreciate you, right? Um, oh, FYI, let me show you. I'm not advertising for anybody or no, it's not paid advertising or nobody is given. I bought this out of my own money, etc., etc. This thingy, you see this? Right? Y'all, this thing is a bomb.com. I uh, managed to lay my hands on this and then also they have another thing that you can use on like for if you have dry skin or whatever. And then I uh, liked it so much I went and picked up a couple more and then uh, I gave it to my boys and they're like, mom, we have enough of lip balms. I'm like, okay, throw them all away and keep this. And they're like, no, we're not going to throw it away because it's got menthol and, you know, guys like that scent. And uh, they actually tried it and they're like, yeah, it's really good. So this stuff is really good. It does keep your uh, lips really well moistened. I don't get that sticky feeling and it doesn't, this, is, this one is almost colorless. So uh, it's got a little peachy tint to it, but it's not like, even guys can use it. It's not like, okay, I don't know if y'all can see it. Do you see that, that color? Oh God, barely, right? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's almost, it's, it's like that very faint peachy color of this. And it's not like it doesn't stain and it doesn't whatever. So. On a little side note, I decided to keep this here. I have another little one from Clinique that I got as a sample. Uh, that's half the size of this. I leave that in my bag or whatever. So why I'm talking about lip balm, I don't know. But 
So, I just decided to share a little some of that. <laughs> going into winter season now, so we're going to all be like wanting some lip balm, right? With winter, chapped lips and cracked lips and all that stuff. Dry skin, dehydrated skin. Specific questions, okay? Huh. Nine, nine of diamonds. Diamonds is uh, earth. Nine of diamonds is, nine of pentacles is hmm, self-sufficiency, but we'll see. My first question is, is he dead? <laughs> Dry laundry. Let's get confirmation. That's what the cards are showing. What am I seeing here? Yeah. Right? So... Let's uh, ask this question another couple of times and then we take it from there, okay? Let me, my son just came and let me just let him know. Karan, I just started recording, okay? Yeah, go Okay. Karan, just make sure there's enough water. I think we're running low of water. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Because I had the door open. Uh, usually I keep the study door open when I'm alone in the house, you know. I have a feeling this fellow is going to commit suicide. I really think so. No answer. First time I got two aces, second time no answer. We'll see. Second, third time also no answer. So only the first time I got those two aces. I would be surprised if he does end up committing suicide because he's such a ding dong. Because, oh, wow, okay. See, these threes have been very consistent in his. The, from the moment I started like reading for Gab, uh, Gabby, these threes have always popped out, right? So we have twos, right? Three twos, nines, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, anything, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, two kings too. Uh -huh. okay, well, okay. Thirty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-two, forty-four, forty-four plus six, fifty. Fifty is five, and five is yeah. There's a, there's a lot of lot of uh, anxiety, not anxiety, lot of um, arguments back and forth. Uh, the three keeps popping up. I have a feeling one more body is going to show up. Uh, the three is also regarding his family, father, mother and sister. I think I had said it in the very first reading that that his sister has had communication with him. He has 
like not just over the phone but actually has like communication as in like one on one type of and he has handed over something to her for safekeeping and then now finally like she's put out some contradictory news uh, information saying that yeah she spoke to him she met him or something it's like that family is like no matter how much they like it's glaringly obvious that they are lying to the universe they still won't fess up and say i'm sorry we made a mistake you know we supported him we tried to get him out of here in truth you know yeah we did what we did to support our son or brother it's like they're blatantly lying in everybody's faces how can they even live with themselves and the whole world knows you're lying and yet they continue to do that you know it's whatever man all right let me ask if they will so so when i ask is he dead or is he dying then like i said i felt like he was going to commit suicide I asked those questions three times, and the first time I got two aces. The second and third time I didn't get any aces. So now I'm going to ask if they will find him. So if they find him, he, he could be dead or he could be alive, right? Are they going to find them? Maybe I should have asked that first. That's okay. Are they going to find Brian Lundry, dead or alive? Are they going to find him? I see two. I don't know, y'all. We 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 get to this. <clears throat> no answer. Two aces on the first round, second round no answer. Third round no answer. Same thing I asked like when okay, so first time I did it, I asked is he dead or I think I said is he dead. Um, so I got two aces the first round and the second and third there was no answer. Same thing here, I asked, will they find him dead or alive? The first round I got two aces, second and third, no answer. So I myself, I'm a bit confused. I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to know it or maybe uh, he is going to end up committing suicide or I don't know, while he's running, he's going to, on his run, run as in like escaping, trying to run away, he's going to have an accident and he's going to die. Uh, so I don't want him to die because I want him to come to court, be be captured and stand in court and face, you know, the jury or the judge and be sentenced. So I really don't want him to die out there because of selfish reasons, as in I want him to stand trial or be, be sentenced. Because if he, like really, I mean, I don't much care for him. So, you know, he's a waste of air and waste of oxygen. Um, but you know if he goes and dies out there i feel like there won't be any justice served right so that's how i feel and i'm entitled to my opinion y'all so um i don't know if florida has a death penalty right i don't know all those things whoa 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 hello okay Ooh. i'll take it So what do we have over here, okay? It's the world card, then we have the hangman, we have the fool, we have 13, which is the uh, in the traditional tarot, it's a death card, but here, in this tarot, it actually is a devil, um, but either way. And then you have the uh, wheel of fortune, and I'm being asked to pick one more card, so we will pick one more card. Temperance. Maybe in, in November season, maybe in Sagittarius season is when all this is kind of going to come to a head or it's going to, it's going to have more momentum or something, new developments. So it's a high possibility that happens. Uh, 
a family is something else, I tell you, y'all. How can they even live with themselves? How can they go to bed every night? Really, they're all concerned about their child, but they don't care about the fact that he actually killed somebody else's child? Well, they all have Gabby's blood on their hands. End of story. They all do. <clears throat> I think Sagittarius season, meaning, hang on. Okay, let me show you. And then I will read the cards, okay? So, I have a feeling in November, so when is Sagittarius birthday? I think it's November 21st to December something, right? I think around that time there's going to be some more like solid developments in the case. Uh, not like how every day somebody or the other is putting out a YouTube video and saying, oh, they saw him here, they saw him there. I'm not, look, I, I, I'm not the one who's putting those videos out and I'm not the one who's cl claiming to have seen him. But I don't know the authenticity of that or how right or wrong it is. And, you know, people say they've seen him here and there. How come nobody had the presence of mind to take out their phone and snatch a picture? Like somebody uh, sent me an email of a link to some guy uh, who said that he actually had a conversation with him and he felt from the very beginning that something was not right with him. But he immediately after he spoke to him, he picked up the phone and called the police and the FBI. So that to me says that he had his phone on him. Why didn't he pull out his cell phone and take a picture of this fool? Right. I mean, I would have done that. But then again, you know, I have to also be honest in that in that moment, maybe you didn't think about your phone. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know, so um, it would have been nice if he had because clearly he had a cell phone because right soon after that, he said he called FBI and police. I wish he had taken a picture of this guy, you know, even if he were walking away or whatever, you know, that would have been like solid proof that he saw this third over there. Right. Anyhow. That's neither here nor there. So we have the world card, we have the hangman, we have the fool, we have, you know, the death or um, the devil card, whichever, however you look at it. Mm. We have the wheel of fortune and we have the temperance card. Then we have Uranus, Sagittarius, Leo, Scorpio, Cancer and the Sun. These are some strong energies. So the world card, obviously it's about completions, you know, something coming around full circle. And the full card, obviously, in the traditional tarot, it's like, you know, we need to look at this whole thing with a different perspective. Um, I, I'm sorry, the hangman. We need to look at this with a different perspective. And with the full card is like, you know, we are so quick to take a giant leap of faith and run off and make our decisions. But we need to take a step back, really, and really take a different look at this case, not just go with what we have out there and just kind of go off on a tangent and say, yeah, 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 because it kind of fits the fits the uh, storyline. Let's just go with it. No, now if we have, if this is a death card, it's saying change and rebirth. If it is a devil card, it's talking about dependencies and somebody's controlling. You know, uh, that sort of a thing, like um, puppet and puppeteer. I'm telling you, even now, y'all, he is hundred percent, hundred percent. If he's still out there, if he's still alive. He is 100% being helped by his family and other people too, not just his immediate family. Because think about this, right? Think about this. If any of y'all have seen, uh, I don't know why I'm even talking about that. That's irrelevant. I was going to talk about the, oh golly, I don't even know the name of the movie. You know, the Jason Statham uh, movie where he, he, supposed to deliver a package somewhere but the package is actually a person he's a trans transporter or something like that so it's like that it's like to a certain extent i don't know why i'm talking about that movie does it make any sense i don't know so it's like the parents were able to help him to a certain point and after that it's almost like somebody else took over and they're like okay we'll help him and i had mentioned burner phones even if they have burner phones they can trace it they can do all those things so you know I'm surprised that the FBI hasn't gotten all that information already, or maybe they do and they're not sharing it with us. So it's not just the family. <clears throat> it's not just the father, mother and sister. 
other people are also assisting him. And did we not hear that uh, Brian Lundry's uh, lawyer say that he had also spoke with him or something like that? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know whether the lawyer said he spoke with Lundry or the lawyer said that he had met with Lundry. I am going to still stick to what I said. I have a feeling his attorney, the group who's representing him, at some point in time, they are going to change hands. They're going to say, look, we can't deal with this anymore. We, or his attorney is going to say like, you need to find somebody else for whatever reason. I'm also feeling extremely breathless and like tired. Maybe Brian is feeling tired. Maybe that's what, that's the energy I'm picking up. Maybe he's tired of running. Uh, see, my only concern is I don't want that Ding Dong to die while he's running, you know, you know what I mean? I don't want him to die. I don't want him to commit suicide. I don't want him to, you know, when you're running away, you can get into any number of accidents or anything like a traffic accident. Anyway, if you're hiking, you can fall off a cliff, anything like that and die because no, I want a sorry ass back in town in prison and have him sit in court and face his thing. But, but I'm saying y'all, it's going to be difficult because we passed the 13 day period. It's going to be difficult to get him. It just bothers me. Okay, moving on. So I feel like this, somebody is definitely controlling the whole situation in terms of you know, uh, manipulating and saying, okay, this is the news we're going to put out. This is how we're going to do it. And yes, somebody is most certainly helping him. Absolutely. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Is Jupiter. So the wheels are turning, y'all. I have a feeling something is going to pop up during the November month, which is Sagittarius season, because we have the Wheel of Fortune ruled by Jupiter. We have Temperance, which is ruled by Jupiter, and then we have Sagittarius here too. Uh, so definitely I feel something is going to kind of, some major development is going to happen in the case uh, during November month, uh, like Sagittarius season. Uh, so I'm sticking to that. I'm sticking to that. They're finding it very, very difficult to find balance. The family are like, they're kind of getting to a point where it's like, it's getting too much for them to handle. Uh, even their attorney is getting to a point where it's a little much for them to handle, meaning it's kind of reaching a crescendo. And then we have Uranus, they're going to be sudden changes. So sudden changes before the... Be, oh, let me show you. Hang on. So in order, this guy, then this guy, then this guy, right? So... You have temperance Sagittarius finding balance against Sagittarius season, etc., etc., and then sudden changes, and then Sagittarius again, and you have Leo. Aquarius, which is ruled by Uranus, the ninth house, which is Sagittarius, and this guy, which is Mercury, seven times, nine thousand, seven times. Oh my goodness, he is definitely, definitely being helped. Remember I told y'all that he might have been having a side chick, not really a side chick, but he must have been talking to somebody who he grew up with uh, when he was in school or whatever, and this is not Gabby. A lot of people were like, oh my God, is it Gabby's friend? Because there's something weird about it. There's something weird about her. I don't think it's Gabby's friend. I think this is a completely different female. I have a feeling 
she because nobody has spoke about her nobody has looked into that angle so nobody really knows her her identity i wouldn't be surprised if she is somehow involved in the sense that helping him uh, because i see the leo and then i see the scorpio and cancer there's a lot of emotions here and the leo card of course we know rules um, i mean the sun rules leo right um I don't know why they are they're really looking at things with their head, thinking things through with their head or with their heart. I have a feeling now the emotions are running high that they're kind of going to fall and make some mistakes. They're going to falter and make some mistakes. Then we have Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Now Mars is, as we all know, it's all that fiery, fury energy. It's like go for it, warring, you know, kind of a lot of war, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, a lot of conflict. And Pluto is all about regeneration. Pluto is also and Scorpio is a water sign. And guess what? We have Scorpio and we have Cancer. Now Cancer is again all the emotions, and Cancer is ruled by the Moon card. Ooh, honey, bunches of oats. This is not looking good. Uh, somebody had best be looking for this fool where there is water. He is keeping close to a waterfall or a river or a stream. He is in a, if he is alive right now and he's still on the run, he is very well, he has some resources that it's not everything. I mean, he's not going to have steaks and, you know, T-bone steaks and McDonald's burgers or Big Mac or whatever or in and out burger. But he has enough resources. He has shelter and he has water and he's able to survive like that. So he's got the basic essentials. Uh, and then you have the sun card, which is right under temperance. Y'all, I'm telling you, wait, uh, Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter again. I'm telling you, the sun card falling right under temperance, during the November Sagittarius season, there is going to be a progression in this case. Um, I also wouldn't be surprised if he, for some reason, walks into a store wanting to buy water somebody may get him on the security camera and then they may be able to track him so those are key 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 things so i i really don't want him to die right now seriously i don't i'll be upset because i'm like get a sorry ass back I was going to say let's string him up but that's a little too harsh I shouldn't do that but then again he took an innocent person's life so you know when we get mad we can say a life for a life you know a lot of people will be like oh you know it's not fair to take a person's life we don't have the right to take a person's life well yeah then he didn't have any right to take her life so why should we spare his life and really as a taxpayer do i want to pay for his sorry ass sitting in jail he gets three square meals a day if he falls sick he'll get medical aid here we have to run around like crazy people spending crazy amounts of money qualifying for health care right and you know health care is not cheap in america and then we pay out of our pockets and even if you go through your work it's still a substantial amount and here as taxpayers are paying for his sorry medical care if he has any medical care when, and if he's is sentenced to life for the rest of his life, he's going to get, he doesn't have to pay rent. He will never have to pay taxes. He'll get fed. Yeah, he won't get T-bone steaks again, but then he'll get three meals a day. He doesn't have to go to the kitchen and worry about what groceries to order and put it in the refrigerator and cook his own meals and everything. He'll probably have to clean his plate out. That's as much work he's got free medical health, he gets, he, I'm sure he'll get time to watch TV and go to the library and all that. Basically, he's going to be on a perpetual holiday till the day he dies and all on the taxpayer's money. So now you think about it and you tell me, is it justified? I, yeah, there are cases when people have been wrongly, you know, put on, uh, put in the, on the electric chair and whatever. That has happened. I don't deny it. But I also have to say, for the most part, when you do your numbers and do the statistics, how many innocent people have been put uh, to death as opposed to how many real criminals have got to live their life for the, you know, you know what I mean? I'm trying, I don't know if I'm explaining that properly. 
This fellow pisses me off, man. And you know who pisses me off even more? The, more that mother of his. Oh my God, that woman is something else. She's something else. She is something. She is like that Chris Watts mother. I'm sure they are both cut from the same cloth. Oh, my son is such an angel. Oh, my son could never have done this. And yeah, I'm like. Why is his sister backpedaling all of a sudden and saying, oh, I spoke to him on the 6th or 7th or whatever. And oh, um, and yeah, full disclosure, I saw that in the news. So <clears throat> if the news is correct. So why is she now all of a sudden backpedaling and trying to kind of, why? Because she knows people don't buy her stories because she's lying through her teeth. I have a feeling this fellow is going to end up committing suicide, y'all. I think he's, he's going to rather commit suicide than be caught, captured. And you know why he's going to do that? Because then the family is not going to face, okay, so. So if he is caught and brought back, right? Sorry, y'all, I still got a little bit on my sniffles. Uh, if he's caught and if he's brought back, the shame and the, and the public humiliation and how people are going to go after his family is quite a bit. So he may think in his head that if I kill myself, then there may be a small percentage of the population who's going to feel sorry for my parents. And, you know, so he's looking at it from that perspective. But his mother is some, his, his mother is a piece of work. She is a piece of work. His, it's a matriarchal family. She controls, she, she's the one who's got the uh, family jewels, if you know what I mean. Not the father, it's her. Okay, so we'll take that. Am I holding it upside down? No, no. I'll show you the cards. A side chick here for sure. There is a side chick for sure, and they want me to get this card too and get that. That was in the reverse. Okay, I'll show it to you, but like I said, this is my chicken scratch. You guys won't make anything of it, but for whatever reason. Somebody was asking me, <laughs> yeah, y'all are going to say, Kirtana, don't rant and rave, but I, it just, I just remembered. Somebody, <laughs> this chick actually has the audacity <laughs> to send me, I think she sent me an email or did she leave a comment? I don't know what. If she left a comment and she hasn't withdrawn it, it's still somewhere because I didn't block it. So I have to go back and look and I don't even remember which video. She says, can you hold up those cards like for longer than just show it like that so that I can actually write down what you have written and make my own deck and use it. This chick actually said that. It is somewhere in the comments. I'm sure that I'll have an email of that because every single comments that's made, I get an email of that. So even if they detract the comment, the email still stays with me. I think if I go back and look, I'll know who the username is and the date and when they sent that comment and on which, which video. I was like, so you're basically saying you want to like 
copy my stuff and you want to go about using it and act like it's your own. I'm like, what the hell? I don't know if you all realize I have a watermark on my videos. It's uh, very insignificant. Uh, no, not insignificant. That's the wrong word. Uh, inconspicuous. But I do have a watermark. And I'm sitting here thinking, what is this chick smoking or what does she have for breakfast? It's like, seriously, you think I'm going to allow you to do that? And you do realize if you actually do it without my permission and I find out I can go after you legally, right? So it's like, what? It's not like a standard tarot where you can go get it at the store and if you go through the book, it has its own meanings and you do that, then you're not copying me or you're go you, know, you know what I mean? But this is my personal stuff and I have to laugh. <laughs> uh, girlfriend, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> We have heard flock and clouds, a lot of talk, a lot of conversations, uh, then doubts and worries. So if it is in the reverse, right? So if it is clubs, of course, is fire and, and ten of wands. If it is, but we won't go, we won't consider that. Let's just do what I have here. Uh, all the conversations, all the talking, all the conflict, all the back and forth, all the back and forth, I think that's kind of slowly coming to an end. So what that could mean and what it could translate to also is maybe the family is kind of taking a step back and not being so active in giving him help because they don't have to actually get out of the house and go and actually physically help him. I don't know if the police or the FBI has got has got um, a court order to look at the parents cell phone records and the sister's cell phone records i think they might have because maybe that's why the sister flipped out and she came out and made a statement saying that oh yeah i actually met him or yeah i actually spoke to him so there's that possibility but on the other hand if the fbi and the uh, law enforcement don't have access to these people's phone records they could be communicating with him somehow and maybe they could be communicating with him through a burner phone or through somebody else or whatever who knows right they, for all I know, they could be sending little messages with little little uh, pigeons or doves across. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, not really, but um, that sort of thing. Like when they go out to town, they may be like, you know, who knows? I don't know. I'm not a sleuth that way. So I feel like they're kind of slowly withdrawing because that is in the reverse. Then I have seven here, doubts and worries. Now, the doubts and worries are also kind of diminishing because it is in the reverse. So, which means that either there's no, no more doubts and worries or they're not as worried and they don't have as much doubts. So that again leads me to believe that they are kind of, the parents and the, the, his family are kind of reaching a stage where they're almost accepting an outcome, a specific outcome. I don't know what the outcome is as yet. Outcome could be that this guy is just gone forever, they'll never see him again. Or outcome could be that, yeah, he may end up committing suicide or he may fall off the cliff and die. But, or he may capture, be captured or whatever. Whatever the outcome is, I think they are kind of more accepting that this is not going to end well one way or the other. Then we have the King of Diamonds. And King of Diamonds, as we know, is an air energy. And in the traditional tarot, the diamonds is solid practical leader etc 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 but here i'm seeing that there is somebody who is in the financial services right either a banker or somebody has a lot of money a fair man meaning a lighter skinned man with light hair okay he's very forceful meaning he is basically a an ass a hole in the behind a, a, a forceful guy you know he's one of those Oh my God, I'm just going to say it. He's a dick. Okay. Uh, pardon my language. And he is a skinny kind of guy. He's not a heavy set guy. Skinny as in, he's not like skin and bones. He's definitely for his height, he could do with a little bit more weight. This is not Brian, just so you know. Then we have four, which is um, <clears throat> four of pentacles in the traditional tarot is greed and desire for long term security. And here it is, you know, all about the horse bed and passion and sex and love and emotions for profit. So I have a feeling there is something like that going on, which leads me to believe it's his, 
that other chick, I have a feeling there's something going on over there that is not coming to light and Gabby is not showing me anything over there because maybe she herself doesn't know the extent of it but I'm not seeing any, I don't know, there's something there y'all, there's something there that keeps annoying me, it's like gnawing at me and I can't put my finger on it and my guides are not telling me anything either. So, and then on top of all that, I have the lovers, coupling and sex, etc. So I wouldn't be surprised if she has actually, during this interim period of time, has actually met up with this fool and kind of kept him a little bit company. But my thing is, why hasn't her identity been brought out? Why do we not know who she is? There is a tight circle, the inner circle, who knows exactly she, who she is. Kamba. <sighs> There's something more to it, y'all. Something more. Then we have a company, ownership, work, accomplishments, and business. So um, this could lead me, and then we have business partnerships and a handshake. So this, to me, would would is showing me that a lot of clubs, a lot. I see one, two, three, four, four clubs. Uh, four out of eight cards are clubs, a lot of fire energy. Sagittarius, Leo and Mars we had and Mercury we had. Of course, Mercury is Gemini. But um, I have a feeling people are working together. Either company meaning it doesn't necessarily have to be a company, but it could be a company, maybe somebody in his work area, like Brian's father's or Brian's mother's work area, somebody somewhere, connections are made and people are advising or helping or, you know, shaking hands and saying, yeah, thank you for your help and I appreciate you and, you know, I'm sure we're going to be calling on you again and uh, something there has been accomplished. I am going to tell you one more thing. I have a feeling if they own their own business, they may be in the process of either dissolving their business or selling their business. Like I said, they are all about amalgamating or consolidating their assets so that when and if Gary's family goes after them in a, in a civil suit, they will have no money to pay them. You know what I mean? So there's a possibility they're kind of dissolving their all of that. I don't know from a legal perspective how that happens because if they sell it, they have a whole bunch of money. They have to put that money somewhere, right? either in a trust or in somebody else's name. But if they dissolve the company, they can file and say the company, we shut doors, no money there. So there's a lot of loopholes in business law where they can go about doing that, even for in terms of taxation purposes, they can do that. I mean, come on, there's a lot of loopholes, they can do it. Then we have argument and shouting. So there has been a lot of arguments, there has been a lot of shouting, there's been a lot of um, exchange of words per se, all that is kind of dying down. I feel for the next two or three weeks, there's not going to be that much action outside of their home. I feel like things are kind of going to sober down, settle down, calm down a little bit. You're not going to have that many people go there with banners and yelling and ranting and raving. Remember, we had all that action for a bit. I have a feeling that's kind of settling down. But I'm also going to say there was a brief period of time where the father and mother were at loggerheads with each other because of all the stress this created. No, because of all the stress they created themselves. So there was a brief period of time where the father said, no, I think this is what we should do. And she goes, no, you want to give up your son? Like if I had known that, I would have divorced you long ago. So they have had some spats between themselves. So that I feel like they're, they're, it's like almost deplete. Maybe that's why I was feeling low energy because I feel like they're all kind of that heightened whatever anxiety, adrenaline, whatever is all kind of coming down. So that could mean a couple of things. Either they know the outcome of what this is going to be or they've given up. I don't think they're the kind of people who give up. I feel like they kind of have a vague idea as to what the outcome is going to be and they kind of already accepted it. <clears throat> Gabby's not coming through at the moment, so I don't know. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to just fabricate something. I'm not getting anything from her at the moment. So. You know, I should keep these carefully. I don't know why. I just have it hanging around here. Hey kind of stuck. I should have gotten a cup of water to drink. I'm feeling thirsty now, but I don't want to get up and go. 
Man, I can't even shuffle these cards. Why are the cards sticking? Why don't they want to shuffle? Do you not want me to use these cards or what? I'm going to give it a sh another shot. If it doesn't shuffle properly, then maybe I'm not supposed to use these cards now. But we'll see. You did it. Do Brian's parents know what the outcome of this case is going to be? Do Brian's parents know what the outcome of... Oh my goodness. King and Queen and Five. What did I tell you? Five is all about fighting and arguments and all. King and Queen, father and mother. Do they know what the outcome is going to be? Are they kind of... No, I shouldn't be asking weird questions. Do they know what the outcome is going to be? Shuffle again, they say. Okay, I will shuffle again. Enough. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Absolutely, they know what the outcome is and they're preparing for a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Synchronous, syn can't even say that word to save my life. Uh, look how strong the mother has a very strong bond with her son. Very strong bond with her son. Six, right? This is a six. This is a six, correct? Out of 13 cards, look at the dupes we got here. So I'm going to say that they know what the outcome is going to be and this to me signifies the bond that the mother and the son have. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, where are we at? 60, 72, 18, 90, 90, 90 is the ninth house. Okay, 90, 98, 98, 106, which would be the seventh house and the ninth house. Yeah, their partnership is going to be affected. And they also very much know what the outcome is. They are bracing themselves. I think that's the word I was looking for. And the bond between the mother and son is very strong. It's all her, y'all. She is the one who's like the the where's that card? This is her controlling. <clears throat> Do they know the outcome of this case or what, come, what the outcome is going to be? I feel like they are sitting and waiting for something. They are sitting and waiting for things to unfold. They are definitely bracing themselves. One, two, three. Right off the bat, the three stooges. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, a hundred percent. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, a hundred percent. Okay, now here there is a um, Concerned actually for Ding Dong's dad's health. Concerned as in, like, do I care? I actually don't give a flying fiddlestick, but 40, 52.
Geht ja. Ja, 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 ja. They are organizing their stuff, y'all. They are organizing their stuff. I am actually a bit like sketchy head scenario for his dad. If his father doesn't already have a pacemaker or something like that, uh, I don't know if it's a mother. I'm not sensing it's a mother. I'm sensing it's a father. Empty existence. I see her sitting on a recliner which has a lever, like the manual recliner. I can also tell you it looks like brown fabric. It's not leather or anything and it's well worn, well used. I see her sitting there and I see her, like it's one of those things that you can rock a little bit in and you can recline in and just quiet. Conversations between the two of them is quite limited. At some point in time, they were worried that their house was being bugged also. So they actually didn't have any conversations between themselves and they would flush the toilet and have conversations or turn on the shower because they were really concerned the house was bugged. And FBI can do it when they go to search and all that stuff, no, they can slip something over there. I mean, they are so smart and they're so stealthy and they have so much training in that. And like, they'll be talking, they think about it. They'll have a, a, a officer say, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Laundry, we want to have a conversation with you. Have a, have a seat over here, please. And they may be talking to them, keeping them distracted and occupied. And the other officers would be busy running around, you know, I'm not accusing them of this. Can they do it? Yeah, it's so easy to do it. The other officers could go there and collect evidence and also simultaneously plant bugs. I mean, espionage, when they can do stuff like that with countries and governments, you think they can do all that stuff with little old laundries, huh? Okay, one more time. Do they know the outcome of this? I'll show you the first four cards. I'm going to keep it. Actually, let me show you. Look at the first four cards right out of the bat. Two twos and, and uh, the king and queen. So, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13. Oh my God, you guys are going to fall off your feet. So I'll show it to you in the order that I got it. They definitely know what the outcome is. They are, it's like hurry up and wait. They're holding breath, their breath. They are kind of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> expecting the... the balloon to pop. Unbelievable, unfreaking believable. If you're hearing some voices or something, it's uh, my son, he has a TV on, so even though I think it's got a, he's, well, it's not bothering me, I hope it doesn't bother. Yeah, that helps, right? Sure, that helps. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it helps if I show the cards backwards, right? Oh, hang on. Wait, where'd it go? There. So, we have four twos. Two queens, two kings, a jack. Strong father and mother energy. That bond between the father, mother and the child is they're doing everything they can, but the mother's bond with him is very, very strong. They know the, the outcome. They are expecting the bomb to drop or the bubble to burst or the balloon to burst or whatever. It's like, what was the word I, I was going to use and I forgot about it and I remembered. Uh, anyhow, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 68, 70, 
houses, marriage and partnerships and contracts and relationships are definitely, definitely this relationship between the parents is also disintegrating. I feel the father, um, of course my camera goes, I feel the father is going to have some health issues if he doesn't already have it. Um, they know what the outcome of the case is going to be. They are just, just like hurry up and wait and they are like, we have no control over it. Actually they do, but we have no way of stopping the outcome. So they kind of almost accepted of it. Okay. Hi, Karamba. Show me what I need to see about this Brian Laundry, please. Show me what else I need to see about Brian Laundry. Oh my God. Okay, this is dramatic. People will be like, well, Kirtana, everybody hates him at the moment. But remember I said I wasn't getting Gabby's energy. Right now she says I hate him. The last time it was like no feeling, nothing. No love, no hate, no nothing. But now she's like, I hate him. Clear as day in my ear. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of they have spent a lot of money in trying to get this uh, Brian fellow to where he is and give him an opportunity to escape. Hundred percent, they've spent a lot of money. They have jumped through hoops and they have kind of you know done all that. So I have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Chalices, uh, that is the King of Cups, the Six of Cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, <clears throat> two Sixes. Six of Pentacles tells me that they have spent a lot of money. They have definitely spent a lot of money. Uh, the King of Cups says, yeah, a lot of emotions, heightened emotions. They have tried to keep their emotions under check though. It's been a struggle. They have tried to keep their emotions under check so that they could assist this fella not let their emotions uh, show. Nostalgia, a lot of nostalgia. I, now they are saying, I wish he had never got together with her. But... I wish so too. She was way better than this third. Oh my God, I have a reading. I hope I don't forget. Oh, thank God. Because when I start doing these videos, the time just, you know, I have no, um, I don't focus on the clock and then on the timepiece. So Ten of Pentacles is showing me that, yeah, the traditional tarot is contentment and family and total love and support and all that. Yeah, they do love him. They do support him. Which they support him because they do love him like that and it's twisted love. But Four of Pentacles is here too. Four of Pentacles is saying that they're holding on. They are withholding information. Very secretive, very secretive. And it looks to me like they are ready to go to the grave with that information. They are not going to come out and fess up and say yes we did this yes we did that this is how we they won't do it unless and until they get their sorry asses dragged to court and the judge sits their sorry butts down and says here's a shot of truth so you better spill your spill the guts i mean spill your truth um you know or i'm going to cut you like a fish or something like that you know what i mean so if they get the book thrown at them literally the book thrown at them and saying you are going to go to prison for life or 30 or 40 years or whatever if you don't come clean because you in a sense are an accomplice to the crime because uh, because you like uh what's the word uh what's the word like meddled with the evidence or whatever you know or helped him get away which is even worse so they're going to throw the book at them and then they'll be like singing like little canaries over there or canaries however you say that i don't know singing like little birds there we go but they are hanging on for dear life there is a lot of secrets that this mother this family is going to take to the grave and this has got everything to do with brian's as a child growing up as a child growing up you know the stuff that they went through because he was not a perfect child he was not a normal child he was a bit of a i don't know psycho dude they are going to take all that to the grave i'm telling you y'all this family has protected and pretended that he is normal and everything is normal and nice and happy happy and oh we have a son and a daughter we have a white picket fence we have a no 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 no, no. so The 
they don't want me to use that no more right now. Let's, oh, maybe just, what is this? Um, the one card that slipped off as I was setting the deck aside was the Eight of Pentacles. And Eight of Pentacles to me is that somebody is working away, chipping away, fine tuning, uh, cleaning up the rough edges. Uh, maybe it's the uh, it's the detectives who are like trying to get together. Or, you know how they get a whole bunch of evidence and they sift through all the evidence and they then they sit and decide, okay, this is the main evidence that we're going to present in court because this evidence is going to have the, the strongest impact. So I have a feeling somebody is doing that at the moment. Um, and we have the uh, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, you know what? The sister is going to come forward with some more information. Yep. She is going to come forward with some more information. Oh, baby, 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 this is, yeah, ding dong. You did it to yourself, doofus. So who are you going to, who are you going to blame you? Oh, I just want to use some really bad words right now, but I got to, mm. Sister is going to come forth with some more information. I have a feeling she's kind of, sort of going to, out of sheer stress or tension or I can't deal with this anymore. I don't want to go down with them type of scenario. I'm just going to come clean. She's going to come clean with something else. She's going to bring forth some other information. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles, the whole house, the family, everything. They are trying. Where you see now the father and mother, they're going in opposite directions because I have a feeling that the father is kind of, he's like, I can't do it anymore. And the mother's like, she's aggressive. She's a little aggressive B-I-T-C-H. She's like, you don't have a choice. You, you are in this together and it's our son. And if I had known that you were going to be like this, I would have never got together with you. So all the, you know, she, she lays on the emotional uh, blackmail pretty good. She, oh. So I also worry about the father's health. I do worry about his health. Either he has a pacemaker or clogged arteries or had one of those thingies with the shunt or whatever they call those thingies or he's going to end up having one of that. Something to do with that part of his body, his. And then we have the Seven of Cups, which is the, uh, which is the, uh, the guess. Uh, did I show you guys? I keep forgetting whether I show you the cards. Because. Okay. So uh, then we have the Seven of Cups, which is a gaslighting card. But here's the thing, whatever they were betting on, okay, whatever they thought they were going to be able to, they made the right decision and this is going to be save us and pull us out of this. That's the one that, that has the, that's the one that has this, okay, on it. And uh, who is this light head person though? I don't know who that light head person is. This is back, going to backfire on them one way or the other. I am still going to say the father is kind of getting very cognizant or thinking about his own mortality. Then we have the Page of Swords in reverse, and then we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Ow! Darn it. Okay, Page of Swords, right? You know, all this thing about staying away from prying eyes, being a little bit secretive, it's like, no, it's kind of now everything, there's going to be a spotlight, flashlight on everything. And I truly have a feeling that the sister and or the sister's significant other is going to step forth. If she has a significant other, who's going to step forth and going to give us some more information. I also think this fellow is going to commit suicide, y'all. I'm telling you. I don't want him to, but he is reaching a point where he's saying this is too much for me and I have a feeling he's, oh my God, I hope he doesn't. I truly hope he doesn't. 
And then we have the Queen of um, Wands in reverse. And the Queen of Wands is, you know, the feisty person having the confidence, having the self-assuredness. All that's gone, wayside. All that's gone. The mother, she's also getting, uh, like, what's, what's the word? Her grip, her grasp, her control over the whole situation. It's all slipping through her fingers and she does not know what to do. She's like, oh my God, oh my God. I can literally see her pacing back and forth, that agitatedness, can't sleep, can't get up, can't sit, whatever. So, I don't want him to commit suicide, y'all. I really don't want him to. And I do, just come back. Let's just get to lay our hands on you and then we'll fix you up. Just come back, okay? Let's just get a get. Let's just just give him to the public. Don't. Why do you even want to go through the court process? And why do you even want to waste money going through the motions of you know having a trial and all that? Where everybody and their puppy dog and their puppy dog's little flea also knows he's responsible for Gabby's death. So why do we have to waste money and go through the whole court system? Just leave him to the public. The public will take care of him. That's what I say. Because. I'm telling you, y'all, they will, if they, if they get him and if they, if they get him and they manage to capture him and bring him back, he is going to have such a heightened level of security on him. Like he'll have the, his bulletproof vest and this and that and everything. The level of security they're going to provide for him is something else because they know there are people out there who are ready to take care of business. And uh, it's not going to be me, uh, just so you know, but I'm saying there are a lot of people out there who are like, you know. Nothing. This was such a, such a, like, just, okay, you don't get along. Okay, she was married to you, you are mad at her. Fine, you all got mad, you all yelled, you all screamed. That's okay. Go back home and say, Take a step back, take a few days off. I'll take a few days off. Let's see how we figure out how we feel about each other. And then if we get along, we get along. If not, that's okay. But you didn't have to go to the extent of like, oh, you could have flat out told her, you know. Fine, let's go home. Let's go see a counselor. Let's figure this out or whatever, right? There's always choices in life. You can resolve things amicably or you can take the stupid route and do stupid stuff. And guess which route he took? Again. Okay. <coughs> the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Let me show the cards. After this, I'm going to stop because I'm going to stop. So we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Then we have the Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. They asked me to put one more card. No, they want me to get this card. Don't know why. There we go. That's also in reverse, by the way. It is the, the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> so with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, right? So the Knight of Pentacles is like... Um, new new job, raising money, a patient young man, good news. No. But then again, remember I said his sister and her significant other is going to come forth with some news, right? That news that she is going to come forth with, a little bit more disclosure is fine. But what he wants to say will be questioned. He may retract it and come back. There's something about this young man, this not young man, he's probably in his 30s, that they're kind of not going to take seriously enough or they're going to say, aha, okay, okay, whatever. There's something questionable. His own, um, what you call, is a little bit questioned. Money is also being offered even now. Even now money is being offered. And then nine of cups. What is the nine of cups, right? It's the wishes coming to material abundance, good health, etc, etc. But nine of cups is also showing me that somebody is kind of trying to drown their sorrows in alcohol. Somebody is definitely kind of trying to hold back their, their uh, emotions and they kind of, kind of letting go. Somebody is having a couple of extra drinks, uh, a 
kind of trying to ooh yeah a little much alcohol a little much alcohol they're like we're almost at the end of it but I can't take it anymore I can't take it anymore and then we have the seven of swords in reverse and seven of swords it's is uh, uh, theft and betrayal and dishonesty and running away well guess what honey bunches of oats you can't run away anymore and your home, your family is again in question because the mother and father are going in opposite directions or like that. Because they are now not in complete sync with each other. I think it's the father who's had enough. I think the father is the one who's maybe considering alcohol or drinking alcohol or finding relief in alcohol. Mm -hmm. Oh. I want to know what the toxicology report says because now Gabby pops in and she says he gave me something to drink. He gave me something to drink. He, he put some, no, she's not saying he put something in my drink. She's saying he gave me something to drink. Ooh. Let's wait and see what the toxicology reports are, what the uh, post-mortem thingy is all about. And then we have the... Ten card, the Wheel of Fortune, right? Again, Jupiter. I'm telling you, y'all, around Sagittarius season, there's something significant that's going to come to light with regards to this case. I am so curious. I am so, so curious. I want to see. I want to know. Like... Uh, not for any morbid reasons, but just to validate like how she died, where she was hurt, toxicology, because she's saying um, uh, something in the thingamajiggy, uh, he gave me something to drink, he gave me something to drink. There's something over there that's a little bit iffy. She says she had an allergic reaction to it. He knows it, she says. He knew I, I was allergic to, uh, she had some allergies and she says he knew I was allergic to it. I didn't know he gave, he, he gave, he, so I think he hid it and gave it to her. She didn't know she drank, like must have put it in something else. And after that, she started having this allergy and she says like, what was in that? She's telling me they had a conversation and that was also part of the argument. She's saying, like, he was laughing, ha, 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 and she goes, what are you laughing about? You know I'm allergic to this. Why did you do it? I don't know, y'all, if, if anybody known to her knows, like, if she had any allergies. She's itching, itching, itching. I feel so sad for her. I'm going to stop here because I'm kind of getting a little bit emotional myself. I don't want to get into that uh, kind of a mindset. I'm going to stop. Let me know your comment section uh, if you'll have any input, if you'll have some other new developments because there's so much going on every single day. I don't sit and watch everything because I would freaking lose my mind because there's so much. And then I have all these readings and all these videos and all this other stuff with my work. I really physically don't have the time. And honestly, I've been sleeping for like four and a half, five hours is, is as much sleep as I get. And probably that's good for a lot of people, but I wish I could get some more rest. Because usually in the late at nights here is when I'm able to concentrate and finish all my other work because my phone's not ringing off. It's okay. Everybody's asleep and it's quiet. Everybody has my son. Um, it's quiet and nobody's ringing the doorbell and all that stuff. So I can really get all my stuff taken care of, right? So that's when I end up doing it or I wake up really early, 3.34 in the morning and I get cracking on these things. So um, I don't have the time to actually keep up with every single thing. And there's so many like little news channels, you know, that are putting out this and putting out that. You're sifting through that and finding out who's telling the truth and which is the most recent information. I don't have the time for that. Who does, right? Some news channels report on other news channels. You know how, you know, you know what I mean? So uh, if you all know anything different, if you all know anything that's uh, validated already and like proper information like from a reliable source or anything, let us know, let everybody know. It's just a question of sharing stuff, right? So much love to you guys. Take care and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.